Hello and welcome to Little Church Big Faith for the week of November 20th. I'm Chris and I'm so happy you could join us today. It's a very special week this week in the life of our church. But before we get to that, let's get out what we need. So of course we're going to need either our cross or our cross collage. We're going to need our candle and we're going to light our candle to remind us that Jesus is always present with us. We're going to need out our pink folder and in our pink folder you're going to see there's a crown, a paper crown that we can use. And as always there's also going to be your bulletin for Sunday for worship and your Taking Faith Home Sheet that you can use with your family um, throughout the week, every day. And there's different lessons and prayers and all types of things on there. So put that somewhere where you can use it with your family every day, like your bedside table or the refrigerator door or by the dining room table, someplace where your family meets every day, all right? So it is a special week, and most of you are thinking, because it's Thanksgiving, it is a special week, and you are right. But that's not the only reason it's a special week. It's also Christ the King Sunday, where we hear about how Christ is the center of our love and our world. But we'll hear more about that when we get to our craft. So let's... Grab our Bible, if you, and as always, our reading today comes from the Laugh and Grow Bible for Kids that we've been using for the season after Pentecost. And if you have one at home, you want to go ahead and get it and open up to page 200 where you can follow along. The Messenger. When the Israelites were in exile in Babylon, God used a prophet named Isaiah to deliver a very special message. To be in exile means that you are being forced to live away from your true home. The Israelites, their true home was the promised land Israel. The land God promised to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. God had promised Abraham three things. His family would become a great nation. They would own their own land. And through that nation would come a blessing for the whole world. Those are pretty great promises. But now that Jerusalem was destroyed and the Israelites were stuck in Babylon, far away from the promised land, it seemed like none of these promises were coming true. Israel was supposed to be a great nation, but now... They weren't a nation at all. They had no land. How could a blessing for the whole world come from Israel now? And what about that special promise God made to King David? That one of his family members would sit on the throne of Israel forever. Now there was no throne of Israel. God's promises confused the Israelites living in Babylon. They wondered if these promises would still come true and if they could still trust God. God knew how confused they were, so he sent his prophet Isaiah to give them the most important message in the whole Bible. Is our story over? They asked Isaiah. Is this the end? It isn't the end, Isaiah answered. In fact, just wait until you hear what God is going to do next. You can't imagine how excited the Israelites were to hear what Isaiah had to say. First, Isaiah told them their time in Babylon would not last forever.
70 years, he said, and then they would be back in their own land. Then Isaiah told them about the Messiah. Messiah means anointed one. Samuel had been had anointed young David with oil as a sign that he was being set apart by God for a very special job to do, to be king of Israel. And now Isaiah was saying that there was another anointed one coming. A baby would be born. He would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. But he would also have another name. This baby would be from King David's family. And he would grow up to be a ruler of God's people forever. A forever kind of king. Bringing a forever kind of blessing. A blessing for the whole world. How excited the Israelites must have been to hear the story of that Israel wasn't over. The promise of God would still come true. Israel would return to its land. Someone from King David's family would sit on the throne and be king over God's people forever. It turns out the hope of the world wasn't a mighty nation or a big army. The hope of the world was a baby. Can you guess that baby's name? It's the end of our story for today. So today we celebrate what's called Christ the King Sunday. And it's the beginning of the church year. And... We celebrate that Jesus is the Lord and King of everything in our lives. So we're going to make this crown. Now, Jesus didn't wear a crown when he was here on earth with us. He wasn't like other kings or rulers. He wasn't like our president. He wasn't like the Queen of England. He was a different kind of king. A king who provided everything its people needs and that's what a true king does a true lord the word lord actually means provider of bread in its original german language so that's why jesus is lord of all he provides our daily bread all right so in your packet there's this crown and you're going to want to get out some markers or some colored pencils or whatever you want and i say you color your crown however you want and make it as special as it can be just like Jesus is special to us we want to make this crown that we're going to use to symbolize God's rule in our lives so make it really nice and special I like the color blue so I'm going to use blue to do my crown. What colors are you using on your crown? grab some red too to do my so we have a red line on them all. so you can make your crown as fancy or as simple as you want and then when you're done there's a little tap here you poke out and you just fit it to your head you might need uh, somebody else's help and you just slide that piece through there and pull a shot and now you have a crown and you can wear that crown the rest of the week to remind yourself that Jesus is the ruler in your life. 
So this is our last week in the church year. And next Sunday we start a new church year with the season starting in Advent. And we're going to have little church big faith throughout the, the Advent weeks. The weeks leading up to Christmas. And then I'm really excited to announce that on January 9th, we are going to return to in-person children lessons here at church. Um, so look forward for more information coming on Jan about what's happening for January 9th in the December and January newsletters. Um, so once again, we'll be continuing our online Little Church Big Face through Christmas and on January 9th, starting with Baptism of Our Lord, we're going to return to in-person children's events here at St. Andrew. One other special announcement is we have a special Little Church Big Faith for Thanksgiving on Thursday. So please check in with us on Thursday for that special edition of Little Church Big Faith. So once again, we have, we'll be online now through January 9th weekly. And then on January 9th, we'll start in-person event, faith events for children here at church. But let's close with our prayer. Dear God, thank you that even when it seems like things aren't going right, we can wait with hope and trust in you. Amen. All right, have a good week, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. See you on Thursday.